Richards. And this is Wayne Drain. And in these podcasts, we're looking at some of the principles of song worship in our churches when we gather. So I guess my first question today is, why do we sing in worship when we gather together? Wayne, any thoughts on that? Well, I think essentially worship is it's what we were made for. Uh, and all through the psalm, uh, God led David to say, when you gather, praise him. Praise uh-huh. him with instruments. Praise him in song. But he obviously um, enjoys our praise and our worship. So I guess if you've got a book in the, in the Bible, a whole book which is devoted to singing, yeah, then maybe God has something that he likes about music. Right. Uh, I, you know, I don't think that God needs worship. He's complete within himself, but I think he enjoys it, and he's a God of relationship, and that's one of the avenues that he has. Uh, uh, he has connection with us, and we have connection with him. I've just, I've just remembered a, a scripture about uh, the morning stars singing at the birth of creation. Yeah. So, you know, the universe operates to a rhythm. There, our God is a musical God. When we listen to the wind, to a storm, to the, the ocean waves, there, there is a melody. Mm-hmm. Uh, so sound is very important, the sound of creation. And I guess singing is, is being wrapped up in all of that. Well, I think so. I think it's it's a way of getting outward, what we who we are inward. It's one avenue of expression is singing, and I think it's a marvelous expression. You, and it doesn't mean that you have to be a good singer technically, right? But everyone loves to sing. Yes, and and right throughout history, the church has sung when it's gathered together. I mean, the Gregorian chants of many many years ago, and you know. Throughout the church history, music has accompanied gatherings. Well, no, singing is a way of of getting theology uh, into sound bites that we can remember and that we can, and that can become more a part of us. And don't don't you think? I mean, you're you're from Wales, and you know, your your culture there has a long history of singing. You're kind of known for singing, and and some of the best some of the hymns that are sung around the world came out of Wales. Yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the theology in some of these great old hymns, uh, words of great comfort, but words that teach us about the character of God, the nature of God, our hope. So I think, yes, it's true that uh, what happens is when we sing, we're not just singing to God. I don't, I don't think God needs our worship as much as we think he does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but when we sing to God and we're singing these great truths, they're feeding our souls. Exactly. It's putting theology into our hearts. Uh, filling us with hope, I guess. Well, you know, John Wesley was a remarkable preacher in his day, and he did much to turn the tide of slavery in Britain and beyond, and and he was a great teacher. But it wasn't his sermons that we remember to this day. It's the songs of his brother Charles who took the essence of what he was teaching and put it in a song. And we're still singing those songs today. And so theology is still coming through these classic songs into our hearts. And I guess that came out of a, a move of God at that time. Well, in every, if you look at church history, in every move of the Spirit, whether it be a Great Awakening or the Wesley Revival, whatever it was, they were also known for their songs. The Great Welsh Revival, that they would, there were songs that came out that the whole nation was singing. And it's one, and it, it's it's almost like Psalm sixty eight says the singers go out in front of the procession of God. Yeah, and it's always been that way. So I guess when when we gather together, it's really important that we sing, and that's why we're doing these podcasts to encourage singers and musicians uh, in this great uh, gift, I guess, that mm-hmm. we we have and that we should use. So why don't we finish with uh, a scripture that will sum up what we've been talking about? Well, in Ephesians 5, the last part of 18 all the way through 20, it says uh, this, uh, Be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Great. A wonderful note on which to end. 